everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, I'm the Miss Nicole Marie. Today we are doing a Fabletics haul. Now, that's a little strange to me, but the mall that I, well, it's actually probably the most decent mall that's closest to me. They have a Fabletics store, which I thought was just like an online store, but I guess they are now in like a brick and mortar location. I guess probably typically only in a mall, but who knows. So me never shopping at Fabletics before had to see kind of what they had just cause you know, I've only seen these things online. I've only seen ads. I haven't actually bought anything from there before and I wanted to see what was going on here. So let's see how this goes because I'm very interested. So, this is going to start off on a really weird note. I've never done something like this where I show you um, something that didn't fit this extreme. Um, but I feel like you need to see what happened. I don't even know how to describe it. But, um, yeah, you need to see it. So, let's take a look. So I tried on their Anywhere high-waisted leggings, which seems like they're like, you know, kind of staple piece leggings that they had. They had a full wall of different styles, different colors, and I just picked out a simple white color. I picked it up in my true size of medium. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know I'm a true medium in most things. Um, so I tried them on in a medium. And let me just show you how they fit. This is how they fit. This is as far as I would go up my mid thigh. They were not fitting whatsoever. So I'm going to skip to the uh, top because that actually did fit. This is the one shoulder strapped. It's bra and it's in an ombre color, kind of rainbowy. This actually fit really nicely, so surprisingly. It's in my true size medium, which I have a little issues with doing medium, small, medium, large in my chest since it's larger. Um, but it fit pretty well, honestly. It was comfortable. It wasn't digging in. It was a lot better fit than the leggings were. So I just had to show you kind of that <laughs> issue I had with the leggings because I've never had a medium not fit that like not fit me to that extreme where it didn't even like fit up my thighs so I was I don't know if anyone's had this issue before I I have no idea so please let me know if this is just like a normal thing like you have to size up like at least two sizes in order to fit into the Fabletics leggings like I just don't understand but we'll see We'll see more information come along in the other ones that I try on. The Anywhere leggings are $74.95 if you're interested in finding out, but I definitely recommend going to the store and actually trying them on because if you order them online and that's what came to you, I'd be so disappointed, like upset, disappointed, and frustrated. The bra, the one shoulder bra that was really cute, ombre, was $59.95. So, I mean, I could see like the style is very unique, the coloring is very unique, so I guess that could constitute like a $59 price, but you know, overall wasn't for me, it wasn't my look, um, so I passed on it, but at least that one fit in a medium really well on my chest, which I was pleasantly surprised. So off to an interesting start here. Next up, I tried on that same bra with a skirt because, you know, I'm getting into skirts a lot lately since they're coming back into style and I love that fashion trend because it's just so comfortable. So this is what the skirt looks like on. Here is the skirt. I'm wearing it in my true size of medium. It fits absolutely perfectly in every way, shape and form, length, you know, style, everything. It has a pocket in the shorts underneath of it, which, you know, is a must. 
Unfortunately, it does not have a pocket on the other side for some odd reason, which it definitely should. But the score was 64.95. So honestly, I've seen squirts this exact same style at Old Navy. They have them on Amazon um, for like half the price. So I wasn't that impressed by the quality of it either. The material was not like a soft material. It was a little bit stiffer than like a normal athletic wear type of item. So honestly, I wasn't like super impressed, especially because it only had one pocket, but it was okay. It was like a six out of 10 max and definitely not worth the $65 price tag that it came with. So it was a pass for me. Obviously I'm not, you know, that impressed by it, but it's okay. Next up, I found this beautiful periwinkle sports bra, and this is probably the nicest sports bra I've ever put on. So let me show you how it looks. Here is the periwinkle sports bra, and it has this really cute cutout detail. And honestly, I feel like I would wear this outfit just out together. I felt comfortable enough to wear it, you know, as a sports bra, as a top. I'd probably definitely wear like a button down over it because you know I'm a little bit more conservative but it had like a nice back as well if you are more comfortable with wearing just a plain sports bra out that's fine it had like a nice x looking back to it the front obviously I fell in love with and the periwinkle color I don't find this color very often and I was, I was living for it. It was really cute. It looked good on me. I like pretty much everything about it. I did size up in this one to a size large and I definitely think that was necessary. Um, it fit perfectly as a size large on it, which was great. And it was $59.95. So Unfortunately, I wasn't going to pay that price for it, but I really liked it and I definitely would have bought it if it was a little bit cheaper. So unfortunately, the price is the only thing I disagree with on this item, but it had a great quality, great style, great color, pretty much loved everything about it. So next up, <laughs> I tried on a set. So it's a sports bra and shorts. You obviously have to buy them separately because that's just how how it goes but this pattern was really wild I'm just gonna describe it as wild um, they do have two other colorways but unfortunately they didn't have my size in those colorways so I tried it on in the wild pattern and the wild colors for you guys and I think that just makes the video more interesting so let me show you how this looks so here's a little biker set and a sports bra combo. I'm wearing, this is like a close up of the colors and the print of this. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very multicolored. It has this really cute like cross overlapping detail in the back on the shorts and in the sports bra, which I thought was very interesting. And I really liked that. The sports bra and the shorts are both in my true size and medium and they fit perfectly and that was like what i was really weirded about it's like the leggings didn't fit in a size medium but these shorts fit in a size medium that didn't make any sense to me so the biker shorts has no pockets unfortunately which is like a huge no in my book i need pockets sports bra was 64.95 so again relatively in the same ballpark as the other sports bras and the shorts were $59.95 so for some reason the shorts were a little less expensive for some odd reason but yeah overall the color range for me was like a little bit out there definitely not something I would typically wear but I know a lot of people like very colorful things and really fun patterns and if you're one of those people I applaud you because I just couldn't do it I just wouldn't feel comfortable so really cute set really good colors it fits in a true size the quality was great literally nothing wrong with it just because just that it's not for me and my personality so overall i would give everything about this 
outfit like a 10 out of 10. So definitely, definitely a good one for Fabletics. And we have the last item that I tried on from Fabletics. And this one is kind of like a little tennis dress moment. And I've been wanting, I've been kind of looking for, you know, something like this. I wanted to see, I don't know, I'm trying to see like the different styles that these tennis dress comes in. And I saw this one on the rack and was, you know, I'm just going to pick this up and try it out. So let me show you how it looks. Here is the tennis dress. It's very simple, white, has a little bit of that navy blue detailing around the cutouts for the neck and the arms. So very, very simple. It does have a, like a little stitching effect um, right where the top and bottom meet. It has shorts with a pocket. Great start for that. The only thing is this is like a complete bodysuit like underneath. It does have a built-in sports bra, but it's all one panel. So I've tried on something like this before. And for something like that, you have to take off like the entire dress in order to go to the bathroom. Kind of similar to romper style, you have to take off literally everything in order to go to the bathroom. And that is something I will not do. I just refuse. I will not sit there naked on the toilet in a public restroom ever in my life. So, as a huge note for me, I much prefer having like the tennis dress, have a built-in sports bra, but have like the shorts come as the set, but come separate. Like it could, you could wear the shorts on its own. They are not attached in any way. That's what I would definitely prefer over this type of style because you know, I don't wanna do that. I don't, I don't wanna have to take off the entire dress. So yeah, it does fit perfectly though in a size medium and the dress is $94.95, which is a little too pricey for me. Definitely didn't think it was worth a hundred dollars. So overall, it's not my favorite. You can tell I would definitely do things a lot differently for this dress and give it a different price, but yeah, not impressed by this one. So it's a no for me. All right, that's everything I have to show for you for this Fabletics haul, which was very interesting to say the least. Um, again, I'm not sure about those leggings. If you guys have had problems before, if you've ordered Fabletics and you've had the same issues, I wanna know, like, was maybe the, the leggings just misprinted? Like it was an extra small, but it said medium? Like, I don't, I don't really understand. Um, how like the leggings could be such a different size from like the biker shorts that were also a size medium. So I'm just interested to see what you guys have to say about that situation. But yeah, please let me know because uh, I don't know, this haul was interesting to say the least. So I hope you guys really enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe down below. Click the bell notification if you liked this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!